Pokemon Global Link, which began service in September 2010, has ended service as of February 2020. We sincerely thank you for your many years of using our service. For a decade, this service, which many players today do not know about due to Gen 8 VGC growing the competitive community so much, was the main hub for competitive information, rankings, and usage stats. Today, I want to briefly talk about what this service was, where it went, and why it's no longer up. So, let's talk about Pokemon's lost website. The Pokemon Global Link began in Gen 5. This website was a hub for many things that have now gotten integrated into the games themselves. It mostly existed as a limitation of Pokemon being played on handheld gaming systems. To allow for players to see top used Pokemon, global player rankings, and distribute exclusive items all on a DS game would be a pretty huge undertaking, so this website held all of those functionalities as a workaround. In order to compete in ranked matches, you had to register your game on the global link after creating an account, and from that point on your win-loss record, rankings, and the Pokemon you used would be recorded. The site would eventually add functionalities as the game progressed and required them. In the early days, it was used for obtaining Dream World or Hidden Ability Pokemon and exclusive items like Gen 7's Custat Berry, but would eventually expand to allowing you to join online competitions, and in Gen 7 allowed you to host friendly competitions and rental teams. The old rental system was actually pretty interesting. While today you can create a team, make it public, and tweet out the code for all to use completely from your Switch, in Gen 7 this was done via the Pokemon Global Link. You could search for a team with a specific Pokemon, and then the website would make a QR code that could be scanned via the 3DS camera to grant players access to that team. Compared to today, that is pretty clunky. It required the use of a 3DS and computer for both the team host and the user. I actually remember printing off QR codes and keeping them in my 3DS case so I would always have access to teams that I needed, even without a PC on hand. An interesting concept from this era was the fact that the limit on your teams that you could host was actually determined by how popular the teams that you make were. The more your teams got used, the more rental slots you unlocked, a concept that was eventually dropped in Generation 8. The functionalities of seeing player and Pokemon rankings were eventually integrated into the Pokemon Home app, making those obsolete as well. With the advent of these functionalities being more accessible through means other than the website, the website eventually had no reason to exist anymore. And thus, in February 2020, just one month into Sword and Shield's VGC season, the website went down. Much of this website is now lost and inaccessible today due to the fact that the Wayback Machine only saved the website's landing page as all of these functionalities were locked behind a login. The website, as useful as it was, became useless in Generation 8, leading to its closure, a bittersweet ending for a beloved tool that many players from Generation 7 and before fondly remember. If you enjoyed this video or learned anything new, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you guys weekly lore videos and daily VGC content. And of course, thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Making these videos would be impossible without you. And of course, if you guys want to support me yourself, for $1 a month, you can see your name at the end of these lore videos. And for $5 a month, you get two extra videos a week. So yeah, with that, I'm going to call it. Everyone have a nice night, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.